Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to start animating your characters inside Blender with keyframes and poses very simply. So let's get started. So before we start animating, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to drag this timeline up a little bit, make it easier to see. Select this keying panel here and type in lock, rot, and scale. And so what lock rot scale means is that each keyframe that we set for each bone will essentially have all three of these properties sort of like baked in. So we'll have one for the location, one for its rotation, and one for its scale or its size. And so when we add a second keyframe that's different, it'll essentially transition to that one. So if you start with, you know, say this piece here, you have it keyframes and you want it to be bigger later on. So it's like default size right now. Say it frame 50. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. I'm not going to really do this. I'm just testing. And at keyframe 50, or frame 50, we can set another keyframe. And so now that bone will get bigger. But it also has the location and rotation baked in as well. So animation takes a bit of practice. But at the very basic level, it's uh, pretty simple to do. All you need to do is just have a series of keyframes, one for each pose, because that's really all animation is. It's just a series of poses with like interpolation, which is computer in generated like transitioning. So I'm going to set a keyframe pose for the start and one for the last, and then I'll have one in the middle. So before I get started with animation, I'm going to set up the camera so that way we can kind of see or rets the character. So I'm going to create a new panel here, select the corners, and I'm going to set this one as the camera. And I'm going to turn off all the gizmos and stuff. So that way it's easier to see everything. Just the character. So that's a little bit better. I'm going to move, maybe move the camera a little bit closer in. Maybe not show the feet. I'm just going to show the upper body for the most part. Because once you start animating feet and like movement, that's where it becomes a little bit more complicated. That's where animation starts to actually take a bit more skill. But you can still create simple animations that only require like maybe the upper half of upper half of the body. So now we're ready to animate. So I'm gonna select my armature, go into pose mode. So here, click pose mode. I'm gonna create my first pose. It's just going to basically just be like a resting pose, kind of, with the gun pointed upward a little bit. The character kind of looking off into the distance, like this way. So I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. But all I'm just going to be doing is moving all the bones around. I'm not going to set any keyframes yet. But I will in a bit. So I'll see you here in a second. So one more thing. If you don't know how to move bo bones around, just you know, select one of the bones, any one you want. I'm going to select the hands here. Press G to move it around. Press R to rotate it any direction you want. Press R and like X and then X. It'll rotate on a specific axis. Specific axis. That's pretty much it. So here's my starting pose. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it kind of looks kind of like intimidating, sort of, toward like other characters. It just looks kind of like it fits with this character a little bit. So now I'm going to add a second pose. It's like maybe like frame 20. That'll be my second pose. But in order to do that, we need to actually set the keyframe on the first pose. So select everything, press A, and then press I to keyframe. That way I have everything set up. And a second pose is just simply a transition. It's like the, the starting point and end point, and then like Blender will kind of do the in-between stuff. So I'll show you what the second pose looks like here in a second. So here's my first pose. Here's my second pose. That's kind of like the end point. 
I can edit it a little bit, but for the most part, I think it looks okay. He's kind of like aiming his gun off in the distance towards the camera. And so now that we have two keyframes or two poses, uh, we need to set the keyframe for the second pose. So if you haven't done that already, just select everything again and press I. Now we'll set a keyframe for the second pose. So now we have interpolation. So we do have some kind of animation right now, but I'm going to edit it a little bit and polish it up, and that'll be in the end of the video. So these are the two main poses of the animation, but we're going to add a couple more that are very minor and just add a little bit of extra detail. So something I've learned from others is that you should actually have like a, uh, a delay before you start moving everything. Like once the animation starts, you should keep it steady for like 10 to 15 frames and then kind of then you can start the motion because that gives the audience some time to kind of process what's happening before it happens and can kind of help uh, the audience anticipate what's going to happen next. So an easy way to delay the animation a little bit is to select both your keyframes and kind of drag them forward to maybe this point here. So that adds, like, that adds a little bit of like blank space in between. And we need to kind of break up the pauses and make the character not so frozen. So I'm going to add a little minor pose in between the main ones here. Like right in between. So it's going to be kind of like a, a middle pose. It's just going to sort of like kind of look up a little bit. That helps add a little bit of arc. So I'm going to move the head up a little bit and have the gun kind of like aimed more higher. And now I'm set a keyframe, so select everything, press I to keyframe. So you can see kind of what it does. It creates a little bit of like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to make it a little bit less exaggerated, just a bit less noticeable. So here I might, and the gun is going a little bit high. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Right about here. Looks a little bit better. So that's the kind of like the transition pose, but it's a little bit slow. So I might speed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna drag the keyframe. It controls that pose and I'm gonna make it a little bit sooner. Looks a little bit better. So now we're almost done. Uh, we have our main poses and our little transition pose. This is a very short animation. So I'm going to change the length, the end points, to maybe like 50. To add a little bit of extra space. Because we're going to add actually a couple more poses, but they're going to be very similar to the ones that are like already there. They're just going to be kind of like duplicates. So this is our starting pose. So you see here, the orange means that it's a duplicate pose. So the pose here is the same as the one here, which is good. But we can actually change that a little bit and make it a little bit more natural. Because humans have a tendency to kind of like shake a little bit, even when they're trying to stay still. It's just kind of in us, I guess. So in order to break up the pauses, we can add a little bit of extra motion. Just a tiny bit, not too much though. So I'm going to rotate this, the body a little bit. Just a little part, not very noticeable, just a little bit. So there we go. Keyframe that. So select everything again. Press I to keyframe. Or you can turn on automatic keyframes right here. This little blue button. But just keep it track of where your keyframes are going. Keep it clean. So that, that adds a little bit of motion, which looks pretty nice. I'm going to add one at the end here. So the end pose is going to be held for a while. The orange space, we can break up this orange part by having a little bit of motion on this 50 keyframe. So I'm going to move it a little bit this way. Just rotate the head a little bit. Not too much though.
There we go. So the character's kind of like floaty a little bit, so we need to kind of like make sure it's not so like dragged on. So I'm gonna make this pause a little bit less noticeable. You can always start again if you mess up. Just delete the key pose and duplicate, duplicate it again and set it at the end and break up the pause a little bit. Just a little bit. Just moving the pieces. So I'm at one more little key pose for the hand here, just to make sure it's not like uh, kind of hitting like a wall. Because at frame 32, it keeps moving, but then it kind of just like stops, but the body keeps going, which does not look very good. We need to make sure that the body, the hand is kind of moving with the body a little bit. So I'm at an extra keyframe here, just kind of move it down. There we go. So the next step is optional. I'm going to animate the camera a little bit. So I'm going to move it just a little bit to the X a little bit. So it starts here. But I guess by frame 50, I wouldn't mind it just kind of like moving on the X axis, kind of to the left, like that. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. And if you could please like and subscribe, it'd really help out my channel a bunch right now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.